Alright gamers, welcome back to Doom 2, No Rest for the Living, my name is Infoyance, and we are finishing up here on uh, the good old No Rest for the Living. It seemed a little bit too out of place to not be something, so rocket launcher required, very cool. Take care of these gamers while we're at it. Uh, I do have a bit of a confession to make, I have kind of ran through the majority of this level already because I was actually playing and recording and game decided to crash on me, that was pretty not epic. <laughs> um, so I'm a little experienced, one could say, um, and, you know, is what it is. So, take care of these guys in the birdcage while we're at it. It's a blue key acquired, or needed there. I see the blue key literally right there. So that's good to know. I remember not being able to shoot him. Let's get the big old shotgun out here for the uh, Hell Knight. Dead. Let's try to take out as many guys as we can here. I think I only got one up there. Heard both of them die there. Yes, we can grab this chain gun here. There is, a uh, some... You just heard a door. Uh, but that's something. Just dodging. It's... Oh, I didn't dodge that one, that's for sure. Um, let's grab the... Ah, damn it, I was gonna try to leave that health kit. It will. So let's climb the spire, shall we? I was expecting him to miss... Or, I mean, go, his projectile to go past me. All these gamers need to be dealt with, so we'll do that. Not what I was going for. Kind of a waste of bullets. Be a waste of bullets on these demons, though. That wall seems a lot of place, but I am, I am, and that is a critic. What do we got here? This guy. And yeah, that one was also out of place. So you win some, you win some, I guess. Which I think just puts this wall down here for us. Which we can't do anything with because we don't got the yellow key. I think I'm gonna leave that berserk for later. Actually, no, I'm gonna grab it now. There's just imps up there, so we can do some uh, some fighting. It's beat down top. Oh, that's a hell knight, or I mean, that's a that's a baron. <laughs> so, but the beat down time could have lasted a little longer. But it is what it is. So that's dead. I think now we just got the random imps. Okay. Now that we're up there, or up here, you hear things are coming out of the woodwork. What I'm actually going to do, I'm going to scale down the spire here. We're going to kind of hide? I mean, not like straight up hiding, but you know. With all, with all these things everywhere, it's best to just get to a safe place where I can just sort of fight them, you know. I can see through these windows just fine, so I can just you know, shoot from in here. Try to lessen the blow, if you know what I'm saying. Because they're just everywhere. Can't really get a good angle on them until they come to me, which they do. Can get shot through that window though, so we gotta kinda gotta be a little careful. I hear a projectile just move. So there's this guy up there here. Probably somewhat safe to go out, but you know. The problem is with classic Doom, you know, you can't look up all too well, so. Like, I, like, at least I'm fortunate enough where I get, like, that fella coming down. Ah. I'm gonna run out of bullets, so that's alright. Two. Just get to blow those two real quick. Um. I thought that was a live one. Alright, so, where are we at here? I don't think there's any bullets there, but. Okay, that one's dead. The clips are actually very helpful in this instance. Because those count as regular bullets, so. I do get blessed with those. Still here, there's oh, something up here. So now this is all taken care of. So we can drop down here. 
Uh, I believe there's a suit over here. Yes, okay. So, I don't actually know how quick you gotta be. Like, you heard that door open when we went, like, that direction that one time. But this can kind of create an inkling for us here. There's a secret here. There's a yellow key in there, but, uh, the important thing is that there is a, uh, there's a door you're gonna wanna, or there's a switch you're gonna wanna pay attention to for later. Oh, I didn't want that one. This guy to die. Okay. So, remember that switch is there, because you, you're gonna need to remember. I don't know where that cacodemon is that I just heard, but, uh, let's try to look for a health kit real quick before we move on. That's one, that's good enough. So, uh, with all that down, this thing opened up for us here, so do have the pleasure of going through here. So let's uh, get in here, here. I believe it doesn't matter which one you do. Uh, this one's always going to be the correct one. There's enemies in these two that you might as well shoot at, because it's fun gaming. There's also stuff in here, so... If you're a fan of stuff, would recommend. So now that we're in here, there's a lot going on in here. Spoiler alert. Kind of keep your wits about you here. Things will run at you and stuff. Like that impatient fuck down there. These impatient fucks. <laughs> Cag demons outside, cramping my style. Things are gonna arrive here. Use the BFG here because we can. Also, because there's refills pretty much everywhere, so. There's tons of plasma. Yellow key door there, good to know. This we haven't opened yet. Cacodemons galore. Instead of mailboxes, etc. Cacodemons, etc. Take care of the heavy weapons guy because he can actually hurt me from a distance. Let's just shotgun all these guys. Oh, there's a hell knight. Getting crazy in here. That's okay though. That's what we signed up for. I do gotta watch the shotgun ammo a little bit, but we're okay for the time being. I hear another hell knight down there. Rocket him. Probably two of them would be alright, right? right? No, that's good enough. I believe this. Oh, hello. Okay. I was gonna say that loops around, and I believe that to be correct. Okay, this actually leads us to the blue key, so now we can go through that door if we so choose. In the meantime, we can go elsewhere, though. So I believe it doesn't matter which door you go to, it leads to the same, like, arena thing at the end here. So we're not going to drop down in there yet. Uh, what we are going to do is do a little bit of exploration. So I think it's right down here there's a staircase so we don't hurt ourselves on the lava. So I grab the suit and we're going to be looking for a tower like this. It's going to have a switch on it. I don't believe it's in any, any, either of these. Um, I think it was that little gap we kind of passed by earlier here. Yeah, right there. So let's get it down quickly because we only have so much suit health, you know. This will lead us back to an area we've already been to, I believe. Let's take down these cacodemons here. I don't know if I even hit that guy. I don't believe so. Let's grab these armor pieces. Now that that's clear, teleporter right here. This is where the yellow key is. That switch I told you not to forget about right there. And that'll lower a supercharge for us. So now we're back kind of in it. Uh, stuff has appeared since then. So, remember we have the yellow key now. We're fortunate enough to have that. So we're gonna pop into here. I think it's as soon as you start walking towards this, uh, it'll come down. So we'll get the BFG ready because there's a bunch of enemies like there was on the other side there. A lot of kind of annoying enemies to deal with. Let's take care of these guys. Did a lot of damage with the BFGs, so 
So now we can lower that, which lowers this for us, a Mancubus, which we can deal with. Dead. The real highlight is over here. These enemies came from somewhere, right? If you thought, if you said yes, then you're very perceptive, I guess. Congratulations. Let's try to keep my health up, because we know there's a supercharger waiting for us somewhere. This Hell Knight's giving me trouble. I know there's like three boxes of bullets in that thing we just passed, so I'm not go after these guys with the chain gun here. Which is cool, because uh, now... I don't believe there's any secrets in here, but we can get that mega armor there that's what's here for us. But before we go into the yellow thing again, we'll take another detour back to the original yellow uh, door, which was... We gotta climb the spire a little bit. This level never ends. Spire over here. Let's climb back over here. Very good. There's a uh, shit everywhere. Going after the uh, pain elemental there. Couldn't tell if we got them all. Now if we press on that wall, I'll do that. If you remember very early on in the episode, we were shooting at these demons here that were that had a BFG in our sight line. So it would have been very nice to have that. Um, so now with all that taken care of, walk this way. There's the supercharge and everything. So we can walk in here, get prepared for battle. This is basically an arena type thing. As soon as this lowers, let's grab the supercharge. I believe there's just plethora of things arc vile, probably most terrifying. I think I got hit by him actually, unfortunately. Oh, we're out of uh, shotgun ammo, didn't realize. We do have rockets though, there's no, no uh, shortage of those. Oh, there's a Hell Knight right in front of me. Shit, I almost hurt myself on him. Uh, I lost like 40 health because I think I accidentally ran... Or I think I was accidentally hit by... Uh, What's his name? The uh, Arc Vile. The Flame. I think, you know, these pillars are here basically, specifically for you to deal with. Now, as soon as you deal with that, more gamers show up. Paid Elemental, especially. I hate those things, as you know. Will tunnel vision that thing, I fucking hate it. <laughs> See, that lowers that for us. Grab these rockets and stuff. I think we're safe now. Everything's taken care of. These will raise the staircase for us. And we can get the hell out of here, which is cool. Alright, so we made it out alive, it was a pretty crazy level, but uh, here we are, so almost got all the kills, good amount of items, fair amount of secrets, not a whole lot, took us a while like I said though, I know that for sure, uh, let's see, sub 15, yep, 1350, alright, the Tomb of Malevolence, the last level here, alright, so, pretty sure this is a very cut and dry level, Let's see if there's any secrets around. Health kit for us. Now, the exit's literally right here, but we gotta, you know, do what we have to in order to get to said secret. Now this wall comes down, nice to know. The switch will open that for us, very cool. Which makes it, we also grab a map, so. See, there's like a whole complex over there that uh, we haven't found an entrance to. But we will soon, so we're gonna grab that mega armor because there's pretty much no coming back down once we get in here, I'll tell you that much. Uh, so, if you see there's a plethora of rockets, because we're gonna want to use the rockets. Um, there's gonna be a shit ton of imps down here, so I just say start firing. Because <laughs> they're just get the splash damage as much as you can. 
You might eventually hear big meaty footsteps, and uh, you know who that is when you do. Um, Mr. Cyberdemon is in here somewhere. Yeah, you hear him now, I think. There he is. So, we're gonna run. <laughs> um, now we, we, we can lower a bunch of, like, uh, I missed on that one. We could lower these, like, uh, oh, I, damn it. Oh, god, I'm missing. I'm wasting valuable. Oh, I got hit in the face. Wasted valuable BFG ammo. Trying to find him. Let's try to find some health kits while we're screwing around. Anyway, uh, so we can lower these things. As you see, there's, uh, like some, um, panels. I guess now is probably the time we start screwing around with rockets. There's probably a vulnerability somewhere. I believe there is, but, uh, finding it's kind of difficult. Try to avoid being hurt. This thing's coming down. He'll come around this side very soon. Backpack of ammo, don't mind if I do. Was, uh, was that the involver? No, it's just armor. See, if that was the uh, invincibility, I would love to have it, but uh, alas. Oh, fuck. Ah, damn it. Health situation not very good. Oh, good, there's these. Alright, he's dead. Very cool, but, well, while we're here, um, might as well see about uh, lowering these things, because we got to find an exit here eventually anyway, so I believe the exit is basically sort of figured out. That's a secret one, by the way, the one I touched there. And I guess we'll lower them one by one just to see what's in each one. So, it's funny, I didn't get a bag of ammo until now, so now we have the... Uh, possibility of uh, more than just uh, the standard amount of ammo. A little bit too late, but what are you going to do about it? So we got both of these lowering. I believe this is, I think this is actually where the invulnerability is, so uh, day late a buck short on that one. Um, oh well. Yeah, invulnerability right there. Oh well. Um, let's see what else we got. I think this one's like a staircase or something, so kind of helpful. I believe that's it, though. All of them are accounted for at that point. There's, uh, imps everywhere. We can actually build a uh, staircase for us here. It's going to take a thousand years to come down, but, you know, like I said, I'm pretty sure that's all the uh, things we need. But, uh, I see these torches kind of I gotta lead us the right direction. I thought that was a, a fall. You hear there's a lot of imps. That's, uh, because there is. So let's get the BFG ready behind this wall. I think I took care of them all. They suck almost all of them. So, unfortunately, they've all died. Like I said, we're gonna pay, want to pay attention to the torches here. We can either just jump down into this one, or we can do some sick wall jump things. Going to that one to the teleporter. And the exit's raised, and we're done. Alright. Trouble was brewing again in your favorite vacation spot, Hell. Some cyber demon punk thought he could turn Hell into a personal amusement park and make Earth the ticket booth. Well, that half robot freak show didn't know who was coming to the fair. There's nothing like a shooting gallery full of hellspawn to get the blood pumping. Now the walls of the demon's labyrinth echo with the sound of his metallic limbs hitting the floor. His death moan gurgles out through the mess you left of his face. This ride is closed. <laughs> yeah, my matter is... Ma I, I, irony there, I was talking about my mannerisms that I can't speak uh but you know i was reading it as it said it so uh so that is it for the uh eight levels of no rest for the living we'll get to the secret level next and then we'll be done with this uh level pack here 
All right, map nine, March of the Demons. So we're starting this off plain, because, uh, you know, we just level selected it, but uh, we did actually find the uh, entrance to this level, so could have done it when we saw it, but uh, I always try to leave them for last. Um, so, yeah, this can definitely be done with nothing. Um, not, not particularly easy that way, but if you ever shied away from something being difficult, I don't think so. And grab his armor while we're at it, but uh, gonna get into this here. Fortunately, don't have these super shotguns, so we are just gonna keep. Oh, I shouldn't have cornered myself like that, but I did. Let's try to take care of these demons. There's all these guys teleporting to my side here, so we do kind of have to worry about them. Don't have any other weapon really, pistol I guess, but it's easier just to keep banging. So. Got that. Got some more armor. Now we're walking into here. Just hoping for. Ah, damn it, I didn't mean to grab that. So now we're in this, like, uh, laboratory place. Got Mr. Revenant there. Let's try not to get bit, because we're going to want to take him down, obviously. He's not exactly a friendly foe. Uh, Friendly foe, yeah, none of them are. Um, but eat my own words there. Probably want to quickly grab the uh, chain gun there. So I can shoot at him. He's dead now. Shotgun probably better with the Hell Knights. There's things teleporting over there where we came from, so it's not an easy task we got here, but uh, I guess they just keep coming. At least we know this this hallway goes somewhere, so we can kind of be safe if we have to run away here. Now, you know what? At this point, how much damage have we done to this guy? God damn, it took forever. Kill that bastard. I wonder if it was the other one. We did a lot of damage. If he dies, like real quick. Yeah, it might have been him. I don't know. So. I'm gonna try to explore this sort of not quickly, but you know enough. It's because there's a lot of sides to this, so I guess firstly you hear enemies fucking everywhere. That's all right. That will take him down. Yeah, pull the lever, which will open that uh, section right here. This kind of gonna be the uh, key to. Pretty much everything. But, uh, the shotgun back out, I guess. There's, uh, shotgunners in here. I don't want to avoid them for the time being. Just kill them now. We'll get into where these guys are at, but these fellows are in fighting. Um, anyway. So we'll kind of avoid that for now. Uh, you see, this is kind of split up. There's like a whole nother side. We'll get to that eventually, but in the meantime, we'll just kind of keep looking around. So we've been here. Uh, let's open the left side, which is this one. So that'll open a door over here, which will unlock the floodgates, more or less. Open the floodgates. Okay. So we've been here before, of course, uh, but we haven't been in here, if you know what I'm saying. So, Super Shotgun is acquired, that's nice. Um, that'll erase some of the stairs right there. So we haven't gotten them all, we're gonna try to need, or we're gonna need to be at that uh, switch, so we're gonna lower this one now, which will, again, open the floodgates to a plethora of enemies. Nice to have. So now, Try to waste too much ammo because we're gonna want a lot of ammo later on. I'll tell you that much. Uh, I think that's it for this area, so we'll lower that or we'll uh, rise that, not lower that. Uh, this switch, which is scary, you get a plasma gun out of it though, um, and that's gonna open the floodgates again. I'm gonna keep using that expression because it pretty much is um, that. So now we can access the other side of this whole facility, I guess you could call it. 
Except there's uh, now enemies everywhere because of obvious reasons. So, avoid demons, projectiles. Oh, ah, I'm stuck. Got bit. Please keep biting him. It's funny. I love the, the little sprite that there is for uh, the demons biting things. It's funny to me when you see it from a side. So now there's another um, big thing that we're going to want to study. There's a lot of dead marines. That doesn't tip you off. We got something big coming on, but uh, our goal is going to be to lower that where that rocket is, or where the rocket launcher is. Um, and of course there's a megasphere up there, so it's going to get pretty crazy in here. I'm not going to sugarcoat that for you. Um, so now with all that out of the way, might as well explore what's going on in here. I think this just lowers to the other side. We've been on this side right here. Um, there's a berserk there. We're going to keep that there in case we need health at a pinch because that's what it's good for. Now I was going to say, I'm pretty sure that lowers something on the other side here, which was this door that was a bit suspicious looking. It uh, just loops around, but it did release some demons, so, so they're out of the way. Um, I think the last thing we need to do really is go into this blue section. A bit too quiet in here if I do say so myself. And I did say so myself, so let's grab these uh, energy cells. I believe that will lower the thing. Now we gotta be ready, that door's spooky. Because the Spider King, I believe, is called... I always get the name wrong. I don't remember what it's called ever. Spider Mastermind? I Mastermind, that's what it is. Um, so... There's going to be enemies of all kinds coming at us. See, there's revenants. Um, see, there's a... Oh, damn, it took that one in the face. Get this map, really don't need it now. There's an arc file, that's scary. I think we're going to want to tunnel vision the arc file, actually. Ah, uh, damn it. I didn't mean to grab the berserk. Where the fuck did that arc file go? Terrifying me. <laughs> this isn't uh this isn't a walk in the park one bit. There you are, you bastard. Oh fuck me. Body blocking bastard. It's kinda hoping the uh oh fuck, he's reviving enemies. That's what he's good for. Yeah, I just took that to the face. So there's uh Hell Knights. Or not hell nice, those are legit um, barons of hell. Let's uh, use plasma and then get them out of the way quickly. There's another one, I swore. I swore there was three. Those are both dead, very good. Um, now there you are, there's two more. I think we're okay now, at least for the time being. You never know, though. Um, so we're gonna try to avoid that side where the mastermind is, just for my own sanity. Um, oh god, took that to the face. Try not to take too many rockets to the face, it's not good for you. Oh fuck, I'm at 16 health, nice. Um, gotta run for health somewhere. There's some. Very good. I ain't scared, but, you know, it's a bit spooky. I think it's rational to say. You know, it was really kind of banking on the Barons of Hell. Um, body blocking for me. They did a great job. I was revenant there. Oh, fuck me. We're out of plasma, aren't we? Yep, we are. <laughs> My three shotgun blasts. Please body block, thank you. That worked out pretty well, actually. 
I don't think it's considered. <laughs> um, we're still, I think we're actually almost out of the woods for the time being. I don't think there's many enemies left here. There's this guy. I think we're gonna be okay because the last thing we gotta do is fight the spider mastermind. We gotta grab this rocket and also grab the megasphere. Lost like 50 health, but uh, what are you gonna do? So pretty much at this point, I think we just gotta kill the spider mastermind here. You know, we're just gonna play uh, play a game of bitch. Let's see who pussies out first. It's having trouble finding me. It looks like. I ain't gonna complain. It's got a lot of quality shots on him. Worried I've missed too many rockets though. Better be low on health. Well, I guess uh, this is what we resort to, eh? Alright, he's dead. Very good. Well, that was uh, fun. I mean, out of the woods yet. Still an imp. I believe that's it. If it's not, oh well. We are done. So, the March of the Demons. Pretty scary, but uh, we bet they're worse, probably. 102% of the kills, so yes, we got them all. Uh, 85 items. Not too many secrets, but that's okay. It took us a bit, but uh, we made it out unscathed. That's all I care. Uh, so that is that is that puts us into Viva section. We've already done this level. Uh, but that is it for uh, Doom 2, uh, No Rest for the Living. And uh, it's, it's a pretty good uh, mission pack. Kind of calls back to the original Ultimate Doom because you got uh, the nine level pack. So that's always fun. Uh, but I think next uh, we'll be getting into the master levels for Doom 2, which is not my favorite at all because, you know, as the name implies, you know, you kind of have to master them. And they're not easy either. But uh, we're never shying away from easy. We've made it this far. And uh, Final Doom's actually harder, in my opinion. But we'll get to that. Uh, that's it for this one. So thanks for watching. And more than ever, take care.